For the beam loaded as shown by double integration method, determine the slope and deflection at points B and C. EA is constant. So here is the given beam. Let's call the reactions at A, AY vertical. The horizontal reaction is zero, but not shown. So let's section this plus part CD. But before that, let's solve for AY. So set moment D0 or summation moment D0. So AY times 10 minus 20 times 8 minus 30 times 5. So AY is equal to 31 kilonewtons. Then we set moment equation in portion CD. EIY double prime equals 31 times X. Then minus 20 times this distance is quantity X minus 2. Then minus 30 times this moment arm X minus 5. So that's the differential equation of the elastic curve. Then integrating once EI Y prime equals 15.5 X square. 31 X square over 2 or 15.5 X square. So this is minus 10 X minus 2 square or 20 over 2. Then minus 15 X minus 5 quantity square. Then plus C sub 1. The constant of integration. That's the slope of the elastic curve at any point. Then integrating again. EI Y, EI -Y is 15.5 x cubed over 3 or 31 over 6 x cubed then minus 10 thirds quantity x minus 2 cubed then minus 15 over 3 or 5 quantity x minus 5 cubed plus c sub 1 x then plus supposedly c sub 2 but because a is the origin it is a support so no settlement, then C sub 2 is 0. So plus C sub 1 X only. That's the deflection. We now evaluate the value of C sub 1 by setting the value of X in this equation. 10, boundary condition. When X is 10, it is a support. So Y is 0. So 0 equals 31 over 6, 10 cube minus 10 thirds, 8 cube. 10 minus 2 is 8. Minus 5 times 5 cube plus C sub 1 times 10. Solving for C sub 1 using your calculator there. So C sub 1 is equal to negative 283.5. This C sub 1 divided by EI is the slope at A. So that's the geometric interpretation. So let's have that so that you will be accustomed to interpreting C sub 1 and C sub 2 when the method used is double integration so that you will be equipped with the principles. Then we solve for slope at B in this equation here. We set X is 2 when at B. So EI theta B equals 15.5 2 square. This is 0. This is negative so we just ignore. So plus C sub 1 plus C sub 1 which is negative 283.5. So from there, we can solve theta B equals negative 2 to 1.5 over EI. Then X is 2 for the deflection. So EI delta B equals 31 over 6, 2 cube in this equation here. Second term is 0. Third term, the quantity inside the parenthesis is negative. So we just ignore that. Then plus negative 283.5 times 2. So delta B is equal to negative 525.67 over EI. Then when at C, X is 5 for slope here. EI theta C is equal to 15.55 square. The second term can now be used, negative 10, 5 minus 2 is 3, so negative 10 times 3 square. Then here, this is 0, then plus negative 283.5, C sub 1. So theta C is equal to 14 over EI. 
then lastly for the deflection into this equation here x is 5 ei delta c is equal to 31 over 6 5 cube minus 10 thirds 3 cube then this is 0 then plus negative 283.5 times 5 so delta c is equal to negative 861.67 over ei so that's it for this problem and this is a simple one i hope that you were able to follow the solution